Hi there, Aquarius, and welcome back to Star Lord is Tarot. This is your tarot forecast for the week of December the 2nd through to the 8th. I went ahead, shuffled the cards, laid them all out. Let's see what's going on for Aquarius. First up, we have Major Arcana, the Death card in the upright, followed then by the Two of Cups reversed. And next, we have the Four of Swords reversed, followed then by the Knight of Pentacles upright. And next, we have Major Arcana, the Temperance in the upright. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and interpret this read for you. First of all, Aquarius, for your overall energy, you have that of the Death card in the upright position. This is a Scorpio card because it's all about transformation. This is about transforming an area of your life that could be uh, troublesome or stagnating or what have you. Something needs to change or end when the Death card comes up. Now, um, sometimes if we're stuck, say, in a dead-end job and we need to move on, the death card will sometimes represent uh, time to leave that situation if it's really, really bad. Now, for others of you, can represent a change-up. Something needs to change in your work situation where so we need to transform, go from part-time to full-time because we need more money or we need to uh, go from full-time down to part-time because we uh, need to spend our time and energy elsewhere. <clears throat> it could be that on the career front for um, those of you on the relationship front, it could be a, uh, a relationship or a situation again needs to cha transform or come to an end. Perhaps it's just the end of the road for some of you, for others of you. That you just can't go on like this anymore, whether it's a, a friendship, it's a relationship, it's a um, family member, a co-worker, whatever the situation is, something needs to change this week, uh, Aquarius. Now, coming right off the hop, we do have the Two of Cups in the reverse position. Um, Leo, I believe it was, also got this card too. The Two of Cups in the reverse, maybe some of you are dealing with a Leo. Um, and not on the same page. That's the thing about the Two of Cups when we're, it's in the upright position. This can point to us being sympathetical, being on the same page. When the card is inverted, however, we're not on the same page with someone. Now, again, this could be a relationship. This could be a family member, a friend, a work partner, a boss, anybody. There is a need for a change up or a transformation here, Aquarius. Now, it's paired up with the Four of Swords in the reverse position, which is good news because this is all about healing and recovering from a situation that put us in the Four of Swords in the upright, which is a card representing a need to heal, heal the body, heal the mind, heal the psyche, whatever the situation is. When the card is inverted, we are now, we have completed that cycle and we're ready to return to action. So moving on towards the weekend, we do see the Knight of Pentacles here in the upright position. Knights usually bring in an offer, so there's an offer coming towards you, Aquarius. It could be an offer that's taken a long time to get to you, and it could be the uh, Knight of Pentacles is a court card, so it could be representing a person. If it's representing a person, this is Earth energy, that of uh, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, male or female. Now, it could be that you've been waiting a long time for a uh, offer from an Earth sign, but it could just be any sign. Could And the Pentacles do represent the tangible things in life where... This could be uh, waiting a long time for a job offer, waiting a long time for finances to be released, waiting a long time for um, a home, anything that the Pentacles governs, right? So it could be for some of you, you've been waiting a long time for this offer and now it's going to come in at the end of the week. For others of you, this could be <clears throat> representing perhaps needing to wait a little bit longer still for this offer to come in because the pentacles do not move very uh, swiftly and the thing is with the knight of pentacles the offer that does come in is very solid and very sound you can basically take that offer to the bank it's it's a good offer that's why whoever this is who's making the decision to bring forth the offer this person has thought long and hard about it that could be why it's taking time to get to you and the last card we have up here is the uh, Major Arcana Temperance in the upright position. This is another Major Arcana here. This is a card represents Sagittarius, somebody you could be dealing with a Saggy. 
um, the temperance card represents that blending and mixing and and mixing right it's similar to I'm not sure if it was your we weekly or your monthly reading uh, Aquarius but I remember there was similar situation going on where you weren't um, mixing well with the with the place you were at or the person you were with but there is a potential to be mixing and blending well with someone else or something else that's what the temperance is here to let you know there's something better on the horizon for you for whatever that you if you need to let go of something this week uh, Aquarius there's something much better that's much more suited to you because the temperance card as well as being healing energy it's also a card that represents um, mixing and blending with the right energy, the right people, you know. So whether this be in a work situation, a friendship, social situation, or a relationship situation, you're, there's something much better there waiting for you. And it could be have something to do with this offer that's taking some time to get to you. So, um, in closing here, I'm going to be pulling you a Chakra Wisdom Oracle card from the uh, deck to get some extra um, advice for my Aquarius. And here's your card, Destiny. Destiny, it could be that's what you're waiting for, <laughs> is your destiny to unfold. And sometimes we need to walk away from things that are no longer serving us in order to get to that destiny. So that could be the case for some of you. You'll have to let me know in the comment section below. But also to in closing, I'm introducing a new deck today, which is the Zodiac Reading Cards by Patsy Bennett. So this is uh, a deck that I chose because I wanted to be able to give a little extra maybe information about what zodiac sign might be uh, playing a big part in your week this week, uh, Aquarius. So let's see what the zodiac sign is. Aquarius, it could be another Aquarius. Interesting. These are very pretty cards, actually. I don't know, I, I flashed that pretty quickly. I'll show you again, the Aquarius card. So it could be another Aquarius uh, could be playing a big part in this week. That could be who the offer is coming from. But that is your reading. I hope it helped you. If it did, please feel free to like, share, and subscribe. Otherwise, I will see you next week. Bye-bye.